All right, hello YouTube, and welcome to a new series on the channel. Oh God, that sounds, that sounds terrible. Hold on, let me have a drink quickly. As you may be able to tell from my <clears throat> voice, I'm not quite 100%. I've got a bit of a sore throat today. However, the new Game of Telltale game, Game of Thrones, Iron from Ice, was released yesterday. And since hearing about it, this is something that I've been looking forward to. I really enjoyed a lot of Telltale stuff. Um, the Walking Dead, Seasons 1 and 2, uh, The Wolf Among Us. Both of which I hope to bring to the channel at some point. But I finally got a capture card for my consoles. And this game just came out, like I said yesterday. So, I uh, definitely wanted to get this started, and I think it's a good to beginning for the next chapter for the channel. Um, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. Game of Thrones Iron and Ice. Sorry, Iron from Ice. Yeah, my voice is going to be a little bit weird today. Hopefully it'll come out okay on the recording. I've got a nice drink here with me to... Ah, parch my throat. It starts to feel too much. Well, let's get into it. This is my first time booting up the game, so I don't know quite what to expect. Maximize your Game of Thrones experience. Create a Telltale counter login now. Uh, some other time. Some other time. Can you get started? Really? Okay, here we go. Yeah, 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 I don't have one of those yet. Settings, 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 controls. Probably be the same as most other Telltale games. Receptables, grind, side actions, character, actions, dialogue, you see, yeah. So pretty much the same as your usual Telltale game. Subtitles on, everything's good there. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Northerners will never forget. I don't know how closely this is going to tie into the actual TV series or books, because I know that the family you follow, that you play as part of this, is actually from the books, but it'd be interesting to see how closely the story in this follows what happens in the actual books and the TV show. So you're getting a taste of the only thing that kind of bugged me a little bit about Telltale games. Some sometimes increasingly long loading screens. The usual introduction at the beginning of every Telltale game. The game series adapts to the way you play. So here's basically your backstory for uh, this series. The great Jamie Lannister, 
Kingslayer, oath breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Sir. 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 Let's pick Thanks that up. Spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had a hand in it, you know. A <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Oh. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <coughs> I'm trying to find a place to be able to talk while still doing dialogue. The King, the King of the Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Iron from ice! Aye! Got it. I saw it there, and I thought it would be a good choice. <laughs> yes, my lord. Why not? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. You've been what's on you my mind for a while now. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire, but you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. And I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Sir. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Okay, so now I have a chance to do some exploring and have some fun with this. Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Really? 
That's what we're gonna go with. I agree to help this guy, and then he's gonna be a dick. Really? Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's Except. where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. I, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm this guy is really an asshole. This rate will never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. Seriously, know, we could be <clears throat> this guy's the biggest dick I've seen yet. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time, you'll get there. Not easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Between stronghold of House Frey. Oh God. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders in a generous mood. <laughs> Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. So if you don't expect me to carry a voice to Garen. Know what's going to happen. What's wrong? Ooh. Just gotten into this you. Is very moment. They're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <clears throat> but what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? I've got weapons. Who brings fucking weapons to a wedding? We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh. When I saw the red wet the red wedding on uh, on the uh, screen underneath the description of where we were, I was like, oh shoot. Those quick time events are kinda of hard to see, those arrows are Gray on black. Garrett, we have to get back. A gift from the king. No, 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 no. You're not doing that this quickly. Okay, now I need a weapon. Ready, boys! Come to help. Whoa! Shoot that one! <laughs> what? <laughs> Just run around, just run around, just run around. Dodging fiery barrels. There was like a split second there where I could have tried to dodge underneath. But I completely missed it. It was only there for like a split second. Um, 
I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Find a weapon, quickly! Who lost the sword? Still time. Seven hells. You're wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. You have to go. I, I won't leave you, my lord. You can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove. Must never, must be lost. never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, hey, it's those foresters. On your honor, you must do this. Honor, you must do this for your house. Go. Kill those uh. fucking foresters. Foresters. Uh. 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 We love to ah! the fray. As I disappear into the night, the guy been able to make an extra 30 feet. Well, that was certainly a hell of a way to kick off Iron from Ice. Wow. I must admit, I was not expecting that. They're actually going to play off the actual opening for the show for this. That's actually kind of cool. The twins. Where we just were. Where all shit just went down. Holy crap. I gotta go grab some more water while this is going on. This will take a couple of minutes. only seen like 20 minutes of it. That's tough tough for you. Episode 1, I have some eyes.
the King's Road. So now we have a little bit more free reign. What we can do around here, I guess. Apparently, can't do anything with that pig. Blood. Uh oh. That can't be good. Fresh. Some shit might be going down. Or we might have just done some slaughtering. I don't know. Hey. Let's just go right and left. Look at cart. <clears throat> That's father's car. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least uh -oh. the is bacon. Winter's coming, but at least the land is bacon. Jesus Christ. Okay, you're all dead, right? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. I'm gonna leave silence this time. You didn't just find it, which means you must have stolen it. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my Land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord yeah, Bolton it's just is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Ooh. <laughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You are a pig farmer, aren't you? Following orders. No, please. 
Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. I made my decision. I wanted to give him mercy, but unfortunately, one escaped anyways. Father, Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. I was hoping if I killed him, no one would escape and no one would be able to come after us, but I guess that was wrong. I tried to stop them. And there goes dear departed dad. Well, those. <laughs> I'll kill the men who did this. Well, I think he got two of them. Just one more to come. Holy crap. No, I think so far that's pretty cool how they've done the fighting and all that. You knew it would probably be like quick time events or something, but... Iron Wrath. Stronghold of House Forester. Yeah, I don't know where that voice came from. <laughs> it's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly! Well, let's keep going. Two Whitehill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm. The blade cut deep. But I should be able to save your leg. But it should be able well, that's good news. Your Holy justice crap. was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the Whitehills won't see it that way. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Ooh. These are dark days I Ooh, that is this to lose trusting. the Lord of the House and the eldest son through such a despicable act. <laughs> you can tell that looks terrible. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick, a serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now, although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? Mm. Big day. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all know. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. 
I'd like you to walk for me first. This should be good. Let's see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Don't oh, bad. Still looks like a pretty good shape. Oh, it's better to let the blood circulate. Well, this thing gives me a chance to look around and stuff. Now, what can I do in here? Can you go up here? No, can't go up there. What medical supplies did he bring? It's a good thing you've done. You clean bringing that back to House Forester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. You know he's young and way too smart to be in it. Mm hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Never mind. This is pretty interesting because I, I have watched you see the there? You're first limping again. Fine. The show. Really? So I've got kind of general backstory on this world. From what I've seen from there, but I'm really looking forward to uh Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although I wonder if they'll bring her home. It's going to be really interesting to be able to go through all this and maybe right. see the world a little bit more in depth. Never easy being the fourth born son. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. Yep. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Ooh. She's showing concern. I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. <laughs> Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything... He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. 
Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he oh. passed? If you can remember. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. I'm gonna miss that sword. This was our land. He never was they were family. our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. It, my uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely I... hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Stay? Duncan? But well, where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done um, nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I don't like how there's the exclamation point can't there, send me but... to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want, what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. <laughs> so which dialogue in these that games? It, oh, actually, that's not completely true. I felt like there was a lot less dialogue in my horse. The Walking Dead and I'll see you have plenty Wolf of Among Us, but... but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I don't want to be talking over the game. There's so much dialogue. I either got to commentate or play most of the time. Like. I mean, I've been a lot of in between but at least the game is moving at a good pace word up to me i gladly drive a sword through lord whitehill's heart if given the chance i would and god's willing someday i will but for now i have house forester to consider first i know you're not a criminal but lord forester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and... and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I had to tell someone. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. Here we go. What? What is it? Lord Forrester's last words were, 
The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Lady Forrester asked. But I said nothing. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need Ooh, your help. I can't say anything you know, just yet. Forever. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. I'll make you proud. You already have. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> Seriously, so much dialogue. But still. Wait! I didn't feel this was coming. Be safe. I will. Oh, it's not even gonna give me an option to say anything. I'll just go and stand there. Yup, there he goes. Long road ahead. So I wonder how much of this is left, to be honest. 